Viewers, in my previous video, I informed you that the visit of Russian defense and foreign ministers was cancelled. Uh, this visit uh, to Turkey, it was due to happen uh, day before yesterday. But this visit was cancelled and one of the reasons behind this cancellation was uh, that Turkey did not want to start negotiations at this point of time. Uh, Turkey wants to press ahead with its Serhat and Al-Jufra offensives. After taking control of Serhat and Al-Jufra, it can start uh, negotiations. Second thing which is now uh, being talked about viewers and which has, been, which has been confirmed now is that Turkey wants Hefter to be out of this political process. Turkey does not want Hefter to be part of negotiations. Uh, this uh, insistence of Turkey, this stance of Turkey rather, it has been confirmed because yesterday uh, Amrullah Isler, who is a Turkish envoy to Libya, he gave an interview to Middle East Eye a website. And in that interview, he talked about the policy of Turkey regarding uh, negotiations between GNA and LNA. Firstly, he said that more territorial gains were needed before uh, the resumption of talks between GNA and LNA. As I told you earlier, that, that uh, Turkey wants to press ahead with Serhat and Jufra offensives. Second thing, which is uh, very important, he said that Aguila Saleh is a viable negotiations partner and uh, if he uh, heads negotiations from eastern side of Libya, uh, Turkey uh, would welcome it. But he said that Hefter must not be part of negotiations. Hefter is a dictator and he does not have any legitimacy according to Turkey. So now this very clear message is being sent uh, from Turkey to Russia that Hefter must be out of uh, this negotiation process. Can Russia do it or not? Can Russia keep Hefter out of this political process? It is very important because viewers know that uh, France just two days ago a French magazine it awarded political courage award to Hefter. Egypt, we saw that Aguila Saleh, Hefter and Al-Sisi, Egyptian president, uh, they called for ceasefire in a joint press conference. And uh, so Egypt is also standing behind Hefter. UAE is long-term partner of Hefter. So UAE, Egypt, France, all of them are standing behind Hefter. But Turkey wants him to be out of negotiations. Can Russia do it or not? Russians, they are not comfortable with the Hafter viewers. We know that uh, uh, a month ago I uploaded a video on my channel and you can watch this video. This video has this title that uh, mistrust is growing between Hafter and Russia. Almost a month ago I informed you that things were not going well between Hafter and Russia. So Hafter is, uh, Russia is not comfortable with Hafter viewers. But uh, can Russia do it or not? Can Russia keep Hefter out of this political process or not? That is important because we know that when Aguila Saleh proposed the political solution uh, almost uh, two months ago, Hefter called for uh, rallies and protests. People in Benghazi and other parts of Libya, they took to streets and they chanted slogans in support of Hefter. And they said that they wanted Libyan army to take control of the affairs of Libya. Now, if Russia tries to push Hefter aside, what will be the reaction of Hefter and the forces which are behind Hefter? So far, no signs that uh, Khalifa Hefter has been pushed aside. Uh, things are uh, a bit obscure, but in the coming days we'll see what happens it is the biggest test of russians now how will they manage this insistence of uh, turkey that hafter should be out of this process and hafter's insistence that he must be in and the countries which are backing hafter they also want a key role for hafter so in the coming uh, uh, days we'll see viewers but looks like that first, this main stumbling block is this uh, Turkey's insistence for capturing Al-Jufra and Serhat. After that, 
second stumbling block is Turkey's insistence regarding the exclusion of Hafter from this political process. Uh, thank you for watching.